Exciting news here for me. Um, so a few weeks ago, probably like a month ago now, Cake had its first outbreak of COVID and it was right when I had planned to leave town. So um, we're trying again. My mom is here and so she's going to be watching Bonnie while Joe's at work and then daddy will be around when he's done with work and then um, I'm going to be going to Juno. Yeah! Wow, wow, wow. Wow, baby. But if you can see that fog out there, they're sending a plane, but it got, uh, it was on weather hold. So I wasn't sure. They called this morning and said it was on weather hold. So I didn't know if I was going to be able to go out today, but I'll be able to show you all my adventures in Juno. And it's going to be the first time I am leaving Miss Bonbon. Bon. So I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna miss you. It will be just fine, Mama. Dad. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my I can't believe I'm gonna leave this little baby. <laughs> Mama's gonna cry on the airplane. airplane. Yeah, where's the airplane, monkey? Mama just saw one. Where'd it go? It will be just fine, Mama. We'll take good care of you. It's coming. Come this way, baby. You hear the airplane? Where is it? I see it. No, I don't. I hear it. Oh, I, I see, see it. it. Oh, yeah, no, I see it. I see the little dot. It's looking up too high. I was on weather hold because of fog, but look at how pretty it is. Once you get up above the fog, it's pretty nice. All right, getting ready to go on the airplane. You mommy hug? Mommy hug? Oh. Can mommy kiss? Yeah, mommy kiss? Thank you. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss you so much. Oh, can you get down? And she's off. Did this part of the airport and now they're working on this part over here. I made it to Juno. Woohoo! Wasn't sure for a minute, but we're here and I'm waiting for an Uber to pick me up. I'm gonna go to a um, friend who's out of town. They're letting us stay at her house and use her car. So I'm gonna take an Uber to her house and then figure out where I'm gonna go shopping first. All right, here's the big one. We're at Costco. So we'll uh, show you how we shop for the year, pretty much. So wish me luck.
The dilemma is real. Do you get two medium sized pumpkins? Or one super large pumpkin? I don't know, guys. What do I do? There's too many pumpkins to choose from. I do believe I have pretty much maxed out this cart. So I'm gonna have to either get a new cart or call it a day for today. So we finished out for today and we ended up spending about $850. So there we go. We will try to fit it all into this car and then get some more tomorrow. Day one, a little bit of the stuff. The rest of the stuff from the end of day one. Here we go. Costco round two. All right, just got done with Costco round two, and we spent another $750, so we're up to $1,650 so far at Costco. And um, I still need to come back and get produce and booze. So we'll be seeing some more Costco soon. Luckily, I got everything to fit in the car. It's pretty full. The trunk is also extremely full. But yesterday I had to use the front seat and today I don't. So we didn't get quite as much stuff yet today. End of shopping day two. We added to our pile in the garage. So this is kind of bigger stuff that we're not really gonna box up anyways, for the most part. Here's our added addition to the pile from yesterday. This is all the stuff on the floor and then a couple things on the table. So, Boy, are we getting stocked up for some of these things the year. I just can't get enough of Costco. Back for a third time. <laughs> What a crazy day. Um, I spent this morning at Costco and then mailed produce, or not mailed it, but put produce on the seaplane so that it could get home and we didn't have to worry about it on the ferry. And then I was just running around doing errands for most of the day. I ended up um, going to Fred Meyers and then right now I'm at Safeway and I have to get a few more items I didn't have at Fred Meyers. And then I have to go home and start packing totes. So it's going to be a really long night. It's already, I think, 9.30 or 10. So I'm going to be tired. Good thing I have a little bit of time to rest on the ferry. <laughs> All right, this is the final of the outside stuff. This is what we added today to the stuff inside. So all in all, that's a lot of groceries. It's time to start packing. It's about 10.45. It's gonna be a long night. It literally looks like we're moving. So much stuff. If you've ever wondered what a, I mean, honestly, it's not even probably a year. Probably like half a year's worth of groceries and, pro, well, not produce, but all like the dry stuff and canned food and Christmas presents and so many things. If you ever wondered what they all look like, that's it for like half a year. I mean, honestly, we'll probably, hopefully do it again at one some point, but. It's crazy. That's why people usually bring a car when they do this. But that just wasn't an option for us this time. So we are going to pray that the purser lets us bring it all on the ferry. 
Uh, it's like two in the morning now. I have to be up at five. So I'm gonna go get a little nap. See you in the morning. The Petersons were still very kind to let me stay at their house. So I brought them some fish from this year and a thank you card. Thanks guys, it was a lifesaver. 4.30 comes so fast. Five AM in Alaska. cars of people I know are on their way to cake and I was able to get my stuff on some cars and the cart so we got all our stuff on thank you thank you thank you now we're gonna go get on the ferry I have been up for too long. I went to bed at 3.30 and then I got up at 4.30. So I've only had about an hour of sleep. And uh, it's uh, about right about seven right now. So I'm gonna try to go get a little bit of sleep. Wish me luck. We've got lunch with quite a view. Thanks, Lacanti. Bye-bye.